it's just up here. Professor Jim Wilson embraced working from home long before lockdown, carrying out most of his research in Hastings in southeast England, almost 800 kilometres away from Edinburgh University in Scotland. He's leading the Corona Genes Project, which aims to discover how our genetic makeup influences the effects COVID-19 has on us. And this preservative uh, keeps the DNA safe, the DNA that's in your saliva. Volunteers are asked to share their DNA information either by using saliva tests like these or by uploading results of genetic ancestry or health tests they've already done. So far, 14,000 people have signed up, but it's not enough. We want to have tens of thousands of people and then compare those who have very mild disease from those who have a much more severe course, and then we'll be able to look into the genes and try and find out what's going on. Volunteers are asked to fill in an online survey about their health and any potential symptoms. Corona Genes particularly wants to study asymptomatic patients, and so a subset of volunteers will be sent antibody tests. The research will also look into differing blood groups, and it will link with studies on hospitalised COVID patients. What's actually going on at the level of molecules and cells, that means some people develop a severe disease, some people have a very mild disease. If we can find those genes, we can learn about what's going on, the biology underlying it, and hopefully design new drugs or repurpose existing drugs to help with this pandemic. So far, 90% of people who've signed up and are willing to share their DNA are from the UK. But Professor Wilson hopes people worldwide will volunteer their information as he wants to research as many different types of genes as possible. The more people of different nationalities, different ethnicities that we can get into the study, the more we might be able to learn uh, about COVID, about different susceptibilities, for instance, uh, perhaps across different groups of people across the world. Professor Wilson can't give a timescale as to when his research will show results, as it depends on the numbers of people who sign up to the Corona Genes website. But he says speed is of the essence. Nicola Hill, TRT World, Hastings, England.